Hello everyone, Technosytem here. Today we are gonna unbox and install a wireless keyboard from Logitech. The model code of the keyboard is K375S, multi-device. This means this keyboard is able to control more than one device by using selective buttons at the same time. And it comes from the box with a universal stand for your tablet or smartphone with the home button cut. It's compatible with Windows, Mac, Chrome OS, Android and iOS. Taking a look at the back side of the box, it focuses on the major feature of the keyboard. It has multi-device support. This feature combines the controlling of the devices easily. Type and switch between devices. It can be a PC or Mac, a tablet or a smartphone. Logitech claims quite comfortable typing, large, concave keys in a full-size and familiar layout. As shown on the pictures, the universal stand securely holds your smartphone or tablet at the perfect angle to read and type. There is no trouble adapting the operating systems. Connection can be made by both 2.4 GHz USB receiver or Bluetooth smart connection technology. Ok, let's open and see what's inside of the box. GHz USB receiver is here. And here is the one of the batteries. Let's put it on. And the other one. And here is the universal stand. I do really want to see if it can carry 10 inch tablet or not. We're gonna see. Quick start guide and the other installation documents. The Logitech says this keyboard is spill resistant and durable. Yes, the first impression is. Um, actually, this is not a detailed review, but keys are concave and silent and feel soft. I think case spacing are enough for fast typing. It's made black. But unfortunately, there is no caps lock or non lock indicator. Turning upside down, I see non slip rubber construction, sturdy, adjustable till legs, and the battery nest, but there is no place to hide USB receiver. The power switch. Yes, friends. That's the bug stuff. Now, time to install Logitech software and set it up. Type Logitech options on any search engine in the results and click on the first link which directly takes you to the Logitech official software page. Then click on Download to Windows button. After downloading, click on the Install package. Click on Run. Install Logitech options. Choose No Thanks. After installing, a login page shows. You can either log in to restore your keyboard settings with your current username and password or create an account for the first time. Of course, you can pass for now and jump to the next step. Okay, guys, after opening the box, the Logitech option software has been installed. Actually, I feel really curious about if it's going to work properly. Now, time to see if I can type by a common keyboard on three devices which has different operating systems. I have an update laptop in front of me, installed Windows 10. On my right, there is an Apple device, iPhone SE, the first generation with iOS operating system. On the other side, I have my Galaxy Note FE with Android system. The Bluetooth connectivity feature will make these devices writable by this keyboard. The batteries have been placed, the power switched on, 
Green color state means turned on. Now, ready to go. Firstly, what I need to do is to open Logitech option software. As soon as it opens, it says no devices detected because we haven't made a connection yet. So I'm clicking on the Add Devices button below and it shows two options. Set up a Bluetooth device or no unifying receiver. You see a nano receiver coming with the keyboard item, which is used for making a 2.4 GHz USB connection. Choosing USB receiver is an option, but remember that it will occupy one of the USB ports of your PC, laptop or Mac. So, I am clicking on Add Bluetooth Device button and automatically takes me to the Bluetooth settings window. Click on plus icon to add Bluetooth or another device. By choosing the first option of adding a keyboard or mouse, it begins searching nearby Bluetooth devices. Moving dots on the top indicates searching process. Simultaneously, put your finger on one of the three white buttons you want to assign and keep pressing for three seconds. It will start blinking. That means the keyboard is searching for the client for the button number one. I wanted to assign button one for the laptop and the device name appeared in the device list in seconds. When I click on the device name in the list, a drop-down menu comes giving me a code to be entered on the keyboard at the same time. So I am tapping 330628 oh, and press enter. It seems like to be ready. Let's check it. Yes, my keyboard is here. I think they paired. I have already had a Microsoft Word document minimized to taskbar. I'm gonna try to type something. Logitech K375S, right? Glad to see this. My first step seems like to be completed, but the mission is not complete. I have two more devices to match. My Android device Samsung Galaxy Note FE in my hand now. Make sure the Bluetooth is on and ready firstly. Now I am tapping scan. It's scanning the Bluetooth devices nearby. Meanwhile, I keep pressing the white number 2 button for 3 seconds, which I would like to assign for my Android device. And it's found. Great! Tapping on it, asking me to type the necessary code for pairing. Yes, 4, 7, 0, 9, 5, and 3. Press enter. Yes, it's there. Perfect. Okay, let's try to write something. I am opening the Taking Notes application and let's see what's going to happen. I am trying to keep it closer to the camera in case you could see better. I am writing DNMA as a so, means in English trial note. I changed my mind and wanted to write on the laptop. Let's jump to the laptop. So pressing button number one and keep editing my Microsoft Word document. Tapping something randomly. It's okay. Back to the phone. Press two and go on writing on the smartphone. Something fascinating, I think.
Now my iPhone's turn. Moving to the Bluetooth settings. Tapping on Bluetooth again. Searching the nearby Bluetooth devices. Meanwhile, now I keep pressing number three for at least three seconds. It's blinking again. Yes, waiting and it shows its face. Just needs a little touch. Waiting for me to type the matching code 6421. Double O, press enter. Yes, it's connected. That's all. This time I open the web browser and typing some words. And uh, really happy to see it works. Yes, it's really, really good. Yes, jumping to the laptop by pressing button number one, writing easily. And switching to Android smartphone to write an email or replying a text message. Press number two and keep going on writing. That's pretty good. Get your iPhone and press number three and start surfing on the net by typing fast and without spelling complexity. So friends, to sum up, I managed to have a connection on a Windows, iOS and an Android. But you feel free setting up any Bluetooth connection with various device combinations. It can be one PC or Mac, an iPad or a tablet as well. It depends on your needs. But the question is, what if I have a desktop PC and do not have a Bluetooth connection mainboard integrated? This mini USB Bluetooth dongle makes your any PC capable of Bluetooth connections. You can easily get it from stores. I think the keyboard is user-friendly. The functions make your office life comfortable. Especially if you have to use multi devices at the same time in your daily life. Plugging and unplugging the keyboard may be frustrating and also time consuming. This device can respond to your needs. The only point to be criticized here may be the lacking of the caps lock or num lock indicator LEDs. Personally, I am used to looking at them in my daily office life. Logitech should have placed the indicator on the keyboard. Obviously, there is enough and suitable area for that. But taking into consideration of the major feature of the keyboard, this minus point can be tolerated, I think. Okay, friends, today I tried to introduce Logitech Multi Device Keyboard K375S. Please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.